Good morning. Today we're going to go over practice problem number one in your student workbook or student book page 170. So the question for number one says use a protractor to find the measure of the angles. So if you notice our angles here are a little bit different than on 12.1. On 12.1 we had straight lines and we were measuring the angles off of straight lines. In this section we do not have lines, we have rays. So right here I have ray D, A, B, C, and my point O right here in the middle. So I have these four rays that all meet at this point. And if I have rays that meet at a point, there are no lines, the total measure of those rays is going to equal 360 degrees, just like the measure of a circle. So I know that when I get all of the angle measures, of these uh, angles off of these rays, their total is going to equal 360 degrees. So that's the number I'm looking for. And I want you to keep that in mind when you are doing any problems that's having you find the total measure of angles. Your total measure always needs to equal 360 degrees if you are measuring angles at a point. And that's what they are. All these angles meet at point O. So let's get started. I first need to use my handy dandy printed protractor to find angle A, O, D. And how I do that is just like if I was finding the angle off of a straight line, but I can do it in two different ways. So I'm going to put my midpoint of my protractor on the center angle going up the line, and I'm going to find the measure of angle AOD here. I need to make sure it's good and set. And I see that my measure of angle AOD looks like it's 65 degrees. Let me check it from the other way. So if I check it from the other way, putting it on here, my angle, come up, make sure it's correct here. I'm right on 65. So right up here, I checked it both ways. I can write 65 degrees. Now, let's check DOC, angle DOC. So when I'm checking angle DOC, I do the same thing. I put the midpoint of my protractor onto one of my rays to check the measure. Make sure this is on point. Here we go, and I am at 85 degrees there. I can check it here just to be sure. Make sure I'm good. I'm at 85 degrees there. So I'm gonna write my angle. The measure of my angle DOC is 85 degrees. I'm gonna do the same for BOC, and I'm only gonna do this one way this time. Flip it upside down. For angle BOC, it is going to be at 140, and maybe we'll just check it this way. I said I was only gonna do one way, but I changed my mind. Got to make sure we're on point here. Good on both sides. 140. So my measure of angle BOC is 140 degrees. And measure of AOB, AOB, the midpoint on the point O, measure of angle AOB, looks like it's 70 degrees. So once I get those, I have them all over here on the far, on the top right. These are all of my angle measures. Now all of these angle measures, if they are correct, will add up to 360 degrees because they meet in the middle, they have a midpoint. These are, um, oh, the name is escaping me. These are angles at a point, there it is. All of the angles will meet at a point here, point O. And if that happens, then the angle measure of this point will equal 360 degrees total. So if I do my math, I do my addition, and I start to add it up, the total, the sum should equal 360 degrees. So I'm going to add my measure of angle AOD, 65 degrees, plus the measure of angle DOC, 85 degrees, plus the measure of angle BOC, 140 degrees, plus the measure of AOB, 70 degrees. Slid off the page there. If I add all of those up, 
65 plus 85 plus 140 plus 70, it's going to equal 360 degrees. So my angle measures are correct up here because it equals 360. If I was doing the math and it, my number was higher than 360 or my number was lower than 360, I would need to retry. I would need to redo my math and I need to recheck it and make sure that I get this magic number. So if you see angles at a point, if you have rays and they all meet at a point, they're sum. So all of those points, all of those angles need to add up to 360 degrees. So are these angles at a point? Yes. Why? Because their sum is 360 degrees. All right, that is question number one on page 170 in your student book.